Hi and welcome to Reactive. Now the first thing you have to do is imagine that I'm a young, groovy television presenter. And if that's difficult, I'm sorry. The second thing is you'll need your Reactive glasses standing by for later. Now the set. The set is a high-tech nightmare. It's a nightmare because it's full of low-tech bits and pieces of wires, plugs, and... It's the sort of thing a boffin might put together in his garden shed. Now, the show itself is interactive and reactive. You can't watch this show without doing something. I'll show you what we mean. Now, you've heard of do-it-yourself television. Well, reactive is do-it-yourself television in action. The presenter will be the equivalent of a radio disc jockey. He'll operate the machinery and drive the show himself. There will be several phone numbers for the various competitions that will be running, like Eliminate. Now, this is a competition where you write down your phone number, your postcode, your name, your address, and during the show, numbers or letters will appear at random, and as you cross them off, or when you finish crossing them off, you phone in the action line and you win a prize. And underneath is Griddle. Now here you'll get a grid in the TV Times, or you could draw one yourself at home, and we give a grid reference at various times through the show, which you fill in or mark, and it could be a treasure map one week, or it could be a secret message or a secret phone number. And Real TV. So that's two things to be getting on with. Whilst down here, we have a secret message where you'll need your secret glasses. And that'll be on the screen for about 10 seconds, after which somebody will have bound to have deciphered it and phone up and... <coughs> Hello? It's John from Stoke Poges. Yes, it is Top Hat. And if you didn't get it, you're not fast enough for this show. Reactive. So that's some of the reactive elements. The interactive elements depend on the use of a phone. An ordinary phone. Thank you, Ian. Something like 80% of telephones are now able to use touch tone dialing. Beep, 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 beep. You know what I mean. Our computers, when the show, will use these tones to drive computer games and lots of other interactive ideas, as you'll see. You can phone the RoboCam line and get 60 seconds to find the prize in the studio. You control the RoboCam from your telephone at home, and we might give you some clues on the way, if you are lucky. And next, while Harry is trying to find his prize down there, and you're doing Eliminate here and the Griddled here, we're reviewing a new computer game or interviewing a star guest. Sorry about the remnants of my uh, breakfast here, ketchup and chips, but you've got ten seconds for this next competition. Now, if you didn't get that it was pop music, you're too slow for this show. Real TV. And there's a secret message for you to work out while I say we're on to the next section. It's Dropout. This is a do or die multiple choice interactive quiz. Now here we have 16 hopeful contestants. Now each one has his or her finger poised over the phone. What is the capital of America? Is it one, New York, two, Washington, or three, Los Angeles? Press now. Oh dear, everybody got it right except Ruth. Bye Ruth. And as she disappears, a piece of a picture is revealed. As soon as you know what the picture is, phone the reactive line. Right, second question. Trafalgar Square is named after the Battle of Trafalgar. Where is Trafalgar? Is it in Spain? Two, Portugal, or three, France? Press now. Oops, a lot of you got that wrong, but a lot more of the picture is revealed. Question three. Well, you've got the idea by now. Eventually, somebody wins a lump of cheese or something even more appetising. And it's back to the telephones. Every week, we're going to have a regular computer game which can be played at home by touching the telephone pads. And we'll have studio guests like Pat Cash or Nigel Mansell playing a tennis or motor racing game. Or you can even get to direct a part of the show from home. At the bottom of the screen, we will put the outputs of the studio cameras and maybe a VT. And using the phone at home, you can vision mix a star interview. And now for a message from William of Glasgow. Hello, ma'am. All over the country, kids are doing computer graphics and music on computers, but there is no outlet on television at the moment. So we will feature computer art, computer music, 
and computer games that are invented by the kids themselves on our show. The Kids Will Drive Reactive. And the Reactive Band. That's three different people in three different parts of the country, each playing different instruments using their telephone pads. Of course it sounds awful. Real TV. Reactive. And now it's time to pin the tail on the skunk. Reactive. OK, Charlie from Brighton is on the phone. Let's see how he gets on. First the skunk, spin the skunk, and you've got ten seconds to pin the tail. Reactive. Nice try, Charlie, but not good enough, I'm afraid, to win a prize this time. Another exciting thing we're going to do on Reactive is use video phones for the first time. The phones can be delivered to the kids' houses, plugged into the walls, and they can appear on television from their homes. This means that the viewer will be able to interview a pop star live on TV, or be involved in a quiz, or be interviewed by the presenter, or dozens of other applications which we're working out at the moment with, to do with computer games. Well, that just about wraps this presentation up, except to say that the format won't be regular, it'll be changeable, the screen will be confusing, it'll probably irritate the hell out of adults, but who cares? Reactive's on in there. Rick, what are you doing here? I'm um, well, just chilling out, you know. Having a cup of coffee? Yeah. You're cas very casual, considering you're on in a few seconds' time. What? You're on in about five seconds. Are you sure? Positive. Uh, uh, thanks, Josie. Yeah. Um, okay. I'm going to... Uh, <laughs> oh, my goodness! Does it make it ah! reactive? Uh, hi, I'm Rick Adams, and welcome to Reactive, the show that you control. Hang on, that means that anything can happen. Oh no, it's going to be a total disaster! No, 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 no. Nothing can go wrong, because I am in control. Not me. Oh no, that's even worse! Shut up! Oh, see what I mean? So let's see what's in the show anyway. Relax, Rick, it's all under control. We are ready once again to face the mountainous alpine slopes on a fantastic alpine racer. Yesterday we saw Michelle get off to a great start with 26 flags. Join us later to see if her score can be beaten. <laughs> and I've escaped from the basement today. Yes, I'm in the reactive control room and I'm going to be telling you how an ordinary household object to help you win this fabulous computer games console. And today you could be playing Bug, a fantastic new platform game only on reactive. So if you want to know how you can play too, all you've got to do is log on. You can do it in a number of ways. You can use a computer, or even your phone, or even a stamp. Uh, so what we want you to do, first of all, is log on to our reactive database. You can phone in on this number, 09901 007. <laughs> Double seven. Course cost a maximum of 15 pence, but ask permission first, and we could be ringing you up to play one of our brilliant games and even win fantastic prizes. Which is... Excuse me for a second. Sorry. Oh, Mum? Well, of course they're clean. I always wear clean ones. You've got to go. Excuse me. Um, just stay there for a minute. Just don't go anywhere. I've just got to take these off. Can you just help me with it? Ah! Andrew, could you just go and get these clean for me? She'll never know. It's okay. Fine. Okay. Well, well, of course, we could be phoning you up at any time, not at three in the morning, obviously. And you can post us if you want to log on to this address. Here it is. And if you have a computer, why don't you email us too at the email reactive address there as well? So, congratulations. We're going to need a few things from you, like your name, your address, your telephone number if you have one, and also one of the following directions north, south, east, or west. But why? Today, we're not down in the boiler room, though, because. Emily's in the control room. You're in the control room? Hello, Rick. Now, don't worry, because I'm in control for this bit. Emma, don't touch anything. Please, it's really important you don't touch... Now, if you haven't logged on, you can still join in with today's show, but you're going to need a bottle of washing-up liquid. Now, if you have got a bottle of washing-up liquid, it could help you win this computer games console. I'm going to tell you more about that later, but first, with another new game, here's Rick. Hands are do dishes, are as soft as your face. 
I've got four hands. What's going on? How strange. It's time for us to play our computer game challenge now. Uh, and here it is. If spiders and creepy crawlies aren't your thing, then run for your life because we're about to play Bug. And uh, there he is. Actually, he's a very nice little fellow. He's very sweet, very cute. And he can also talk too. Hey, shoots. Please come. Wow. Listen to that. I love that. Uh, we've got our first database uh, online ready to play. It's Lisa Garside from Kent. Hello, Lisa. Hello. Are you back to school today? Your form teacher. Was she all right? Yeah. That's good. OK, right, we're ready to play. So let's see your phone pad come up. There we go. OK, now the buttons you've got to worry about are two and eight, four, six, and hash is the jump button. So you've got one minute to help Bug collect as many gems as possible. So away you go, go! So there we go, you've got to collect those gems as many as possible because you're the first player in this game. So there we go, now use eight, come towards us, that's it, four, along we go, and up the ramp, jump over those bugs because they get you and they run out your bug juice in that little can that's on the left there, okay? So oh, you're very low on batteries here, so you've got to avoid any bugs and jump over them. Come towards us today, oh no! Uh, quick, take a left with your four and jump over that bug, jump over that bug, that's it, brilliant. Come towards us with an eight and take a four and go up that ramp, go up the ramp, here we go, and jump! Jump! That's it! Great, now forwards. Go two. That's it. And up the ramp. And we've got some more ones up there. Now, of course, uh, I do hand train bugs at home uh, because I've got a little uh, earwig at home and uh, he actually does the washing up for me but gets stuck underneath the cutlery. Anyway, come towards us. You've got 14 seconds left. You've done a brilliant score so far. Nine. Take a left with your six. And then... Oh, no! You've run out of bug juice! Look at you! That's it. You've got five seconds left. So get, get going forwards. Two, two, two. Then four. Four. Oh, that's it. It's all over, Lisa, I'm afraid. But don't worry, you've got nine points with your gems. Brilliant stuff. So stay tuned, Lisa, because there'll be another competitor for you later on to see if they can beat you. But now it's time to pass the squeezy bottle. Over to you, Emma. <laughs> Thanks, Rick. Now, there are thousands of bottles of washing up liquid in homes around Britain, and somewhere on this bottle is a barcode like this one. Now, what we want you to do is add up the numbers on the bottom of the barcode until you get a total. When you get that total, write it down and keep it safe. We've already got our reactive total in this envelope here, which is going to be revealed to you later. Now, if your number matches this number in here, you could win yourself this fabulous wow. computer games console. But now, it's time for Beat the Bug. Database on the line today is Claire. Hello, Claire. Hello. Where are you calling us from? Ashton on the line. Well, the game today is Beat the Bug. You've got 30 seconds to unscramble a scrambled picture. So let's have a look at the picture. It's Pete Cunner of Dubreen. Now, what we want you to do is unscramble it by saying up, down, left, or right. So let's see the picture scrambled. There you go. Okay, Claire, ready, steady, go. Up, left, not right, down. Come on, you can do it. Left. Well, he's got his face together, but it's down there. He doesn't want his face down, down. there. It's a bit strange. Um, right. Come on, you're running right. out of time. Up. Left. Oh, there you go. What do you know? Up. You just need to get his face up the top. What are you doing? What are you playing at? Down. Come on, come Down. Left. Right. Sorry, Clay, you didn't make it that time, but not to worry, we're going to still send you a reactive pen. Let's see what Rick's up to. It's time for our arcade challenge, so let's see if our competitors are better than me. Come on, this is pointless. That's not even real snow. I mean, look, let's face it, if it was real snow, I'd fall over. <laughs> Steady on, Rick. You don't need skis to play this game. You just need a cool head. Yesterday, you would have seen Michelle do very well. She's number one on our leaderboard, but will she stay on top and win that fabulous Panasonic 3DO? And our second challenger for our arcade challenge is Ewan. Ewan, how are you? Fine. You came all the way from Edinburgh in Scotland to take part in our arcade challenge. How does that make you feel? Well, I think it's going to be worth it because I'm going to win. Ewan, take it away. Let's go. Yes, he's standing up. He's Crouch down. Beginning to snow heavily. He's three flags for three. Four for four. And he's just missed one. No, he hasn't. Come on, you, and up and down and down as up he goes. Where's he going? Yes, through another flag. It's 14 flags, 15 flags for 16. Down the hill, through another flag. He's doing very well. As you know, each time he goes through a flag, his time is extended. That's why extended is flashing on the screen. In case you didn't know. Oh, yes, did he get that one? I don't know, but he's on 22 flags, 23 flags for 25, up in the air. Some acrobatics through the Christmas trees. Literally through the Christmas trees. 24 flags. Any more flags? There's a couple just around this corner here. 
Oh, some acrobatics from Ewan, but he's wasting time. His time is in the red. 25 flags, he's got a time extend. 26 to score to beat. He's equal that now, and he's beaten it by one. It's counting down, three time extended. Time extended again, will he make it through this one? The finish is in sight, but it's 0-0. Zero, zero. Time up. Yeah! Let's take a look at the leaderboard. In second place, we find Michelle with 26 flags. But our new leader in the number one position, the man from Scotland, Ewan, on 32 flags. Yes! yes. Join us on Thursday to see if that score can be beaten. Emma, how are you today? I'm very well, thank you, Peter. Peter's going to be back on Thursday with another ski skiing challenger in the arcade championship. But now back to our squeezy bottles. Have you added up your total yet? Because I'm about to reveal the reactive one. Let's have a look. And the number is 44. So if your number's 44, then call us now on this special number, 0181 811 You could win yourself this computer games console, and then you'll be playing Sonic the Hedgehog. It's time for us to play Knockout. <laughs> Just missed. Okay, we've got 12 databases online, all at the same time, ready to play a general knowledge quiz. So let's see who's going to get knocked out. No. So it's going to be me, obviously. So there we are, there are our 12 callers, and let's speak to Adam first. Hello, Adam. Hi, Rick, how are you? Oh, I'm fine, thank you very much for asking, it's very polite. Um, now listen, uh, I hear you like ski uh, skiing, is that right? Yes. Okay, right, well, let's get on with the game, Adam, and good luck. Uh, hopefully I'll help you with this, who knows? Okay, what's going to happen is I'm going to ask you some general knowledge questions. You've got to answer by pushing one, two, or three on your phones, and you've got to answer really quickly, because if you don't, you get thrown off the board. So be as quick as possible, okay? You ready to play? Let's go. This question's for all of you, your first question. It starts like this. Sharon and Tracy appear in which famous BBC TV sitcom? Is it one, 2.4 children? Is it two, birds of a feather? Or is it three, kicking up appearances? Push your buttons really quickly, go. Oh, have we lost anyone? We've lost Kieran, Helen, Gregory, Alexandra. So we've got all the other guys playing in the game still. Here we go, your second question. And it goes like this. Which of the following is the only bird that can fly? Is it one, a duck? Is it two, a penguin? Or is it three, an ostrich? Push your button, go. Ooh, that's right, it's a duck. So we've lost Michelle, Douglas, Adam, Rishi, Sophie and Gregory there, and Amy as well. So it's Mark and Emma, it's a head-to-head. -head. Dunk, okay. Right, here's your third question. Who were the first people to fly in an aeroplane? Was it one, the Wright brothers, two, the wrong brothers, or three, the either way brothers? Push a button, go. Well done, you're both still in. That's brilliant. Here's a, another question for you. Which of these computer characters is a famous plumber? Is it one, the Lemmings? Is it two, Sonic, or three, Super Mario? Go for it. Well done, you've done it! Both right, congratulations, and you both won one of these mini TVs, and you can see us on there right now. That's brilliant, isn't it? OK, congratulations to you guys. Well done for playing. And now it's time to go over to you, Emma. Yes, we've got our second round of Beat the Bug, and I've got David on the line. Hello, David. Hello. How are you doing today, David? Fine, thanks. Well, you're going to play the second round of Beat the Bug, so let's have a look at the picture on Get our screens for this one. It's Michelle Gale. You've got 30 seconds to unscramble this picture by saying up, down, left and right. So let's see the picture scrambled. <laughs> Now, here's a clue. Watch the picture being scrambled, because it helps. Go. OK, off you go. Down. Cut, um, left. Come on, you can do it. I mean, right. That's oh. the one. Oh, at least she's got her eyes um, in the right place now. Uh, Not sure about her chin. Left. I mean, right. Right. That's the one. Come on, oh. you can do it. You're getting very close. Across. Very close. I mean, right, right. Left. I think you're going to make it. Left. Ready, cut. Congratulations, David. You've just won yourself this personal CD player. Wow. And I'm going to give you a Michelle Girl CD to play on it. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Okay. It's time to play Bug. Not beat the bug, but Bug, that other game that we played earlier on. And Lisa did so well. She got nine gems in it. We've got our second contestant from our database, and it's Timothy Cross from Norfolk. Hello, Timothy. Hello. Are you Cross? Yep. Oh, really? OK, well, let's get on with the game, please. And um, let's see your phone pad pop up. There it is. Oh, no, not that one. We want the phone pad. Let's see it come out. Oh, it's not going to come up. There we go. OK, now you've got to control your character with your phone from home. Are you ready to play? Yep. Good. OK, you've got one minute. Take it away, go! And there we go. We're using four and six left and right, and two is going into the picture. Out is coming, eight is coming out, and Pash is jumped. So you've got to do better than nine. You're already doing very well. You've got five points. Come towards us with eight. Use eight. There we go. And take a four. Now jump over this bug. Jump over this bug! He just lost some bug juice in the left hand corner of the screen there, so jump over the bug. Oh no! Listen to him complaining, bless him. Uh, I would too if I had to jump over those things. They're nasty looking things, aren't they? Come towards us with eight, and then go up the ramp because we need you to get those gems. You're doing very well. You've got seven now, nine to beat. 
So let's see what's going to happen. Up the ramp. And we've got... Oh, no, you keep getting knocked out. Hey, okay, jump now. Yes, jump. Oh, <laughs> go forward. <laughs> go forward. You've got 20 seconds left. Go forward. Go forward. Go... F oh, blimey. <laughs> OK, up the ramp. Up the ramp. Up the ramp with the left. There we go. That's good. OK, you can jump now if you like. Jump. No, that's not going to help. You've got six seconds left and you're so close. Oh, dear Timothy, I'm afraid that you're not going to win. You've got seven gems there. Ooh, you did so well, Timothy, but you've won yourself one of these very attractive, uh, reactive T-shirts. OK, so well done to you. And Lisa, are you on the phone? Yeah. There you are. Would you like to know what you've won? Yes, please. Well, you've won these inline wow. skates. And don't let your mum use them when she's cooking your tea. It'll be all yeah. over the place. OK? Yes, yeah, So thanks. well done to you, OK? Thanks so much for playing. And make sure that you tune in tomorrow, because we're going to be here at the same time, 4.20, BBC One. And we've got all sorts of stuff later on. But now it's time for Emma, and she's got the barcode bonus. Emma. Well, Rick, I've got Graham Baker on the line. Hello, Graham. Hi, Emma. How you doing? I'm all right, thanks. Now, tell me your total. 44. 44, that's right. But we told you that bit, so that's the easy bit. Could you tell me the fragrance of your washing up liquid? Spring Fresh, and it smells really lovely. Spring Fresh, and it smells lovely. Congratulations, you've just won yourself a Brilliant. computer please console. What about that? You pleased? Yeah, wicked. Well done. I'll see you tomorrow for Stoke Up the Boiler. Stay tuned, and we're back tomorrow at 4.20, BBC One. Bye-bye. Take care.